All right, what is going on guys? It's Mock here, we're at Kim's Cafe. So as everybody has seen online, this place is getting a lot of controversy because they made a dress code and it's basically alienating their customer base. So you can't wear a lot of stuff. You can't wear shorts, you can't wear skirts, you can't wear so many things. And they have it written all over their door. And of course it's hotter than holy hell out here. And they don't want people wearing t-shirts and shorts, which is really unreasonable, especially in this kind of weather. And let me just say this, the inside was very clean. It had a nice aesthetic to it, but does it require like this crazy ass dress coat? No, absolutely not. There's, there's literally no need for it, but to each their own. I'm not the owner of the restaurant, so she can do whatever she wants. But at the end of the day, all you can say is that she will see how her business goes so best of luck to her okay so first of all this food is very expensive i think a rack of ribs was 35 dollars which we did not get the ribs we're not about to spend all that money and even then we had to wait an hour for this food and we go in there and there's people eating and we were like one of the first ones to place our order which is kind of weird not gonna lie and there was somebody wearing shorts inside of the restaurant i'm gonna put a little clip right here you tell me what you think so let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm not even quite sure what's in these boxes. Oh, what is this one? Okay, this is the cabbage right here. Oh, this is the turkey wing right here. All right, so first of all, we got the turkey wing. Now it smells good, honestly, but I hope this is way worth an hour wait. Let's try the cabbage first right here. You guys can see that cabbage right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and give the cabbage a shot. It looks like it has no kind of seasoning on that, honestly. It's very bland, honestly. There's literally no seasoning on there. I don't know if you can see that. There's like no specks of pepper or anything. Yeah, the cabbage is all right, but there's like no seasoning on it. This turkey wing is huge and it's hot as hell and it's falling apart. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, it's not bad. It just, it doesn't have a lot of flavor, honestly. It just doesn't. Very chewy. We also got the lemonade and the Kool-Aid. So we're gonna try the lemonade first. That's definitely a country time lemonade or whatever that is. That brand is good. It's really good. We also got the Kool-Aid too. And uh, I really don't drink Kool-Aid like that very often, but. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Got down. I'm gonna need to break out my diabetes testing supplies because that shit is sweet <laughs> as hell. Let's go ahead and try the fried chicken right here. Oh yeah, this plate looks good right here. Oh, the candied yam smells so good. You get a four piece chicken wings and then you get two sides for 20 bucks. Let's go ahead and try this mac and cheese right here. It looks really cheesy. It kind of looks underdone, honestly, a little bit. It looks a little raw. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that is strong. The cheese. Yeah, that is not bad. Actually, that is pretty fucking good. That is some good ass mac and cheese right there. Next up, we got the candied yams. Mm. Yeah. That's fucking delicious right there. The star of the show right here, the fried chicken. Ooh, look at that. It looks like it's very nicely seasoned. Let's see what it's hitting on. Mm, first bite, I can immediately taste that the oil is not very, very, very fresh. Like it, I just had like an immediate taste of oil that's been sitting there a while. It's pretty good though. Now, would I drive 30 minutes to get to the city and then wait an hour for this food? absolutely not i wouldn't because it's good food but the customer service is kind of kind of not there but i'm gonna eat it because i'm starving put the mac and cheese on the chicken right there uh, i want some more of these candy yams next up we got the pork chop this is a thick ass pork chop honestly shit is thick god damn thick like how i like my women this is a big ass pork chop and it's heavy too. If you threw this shit at somebody, you probably give them a concussion. Look at that. Let's go ahead and just bite into this, I guess. Oh my God, I got this mm. I've never had a fried pork chop this fucking thick. That is good. It honestly tastes like chicken. Yeah, it tastes like fried chicken. This shit is busting right here. Yeah, I gotta get another bite of this. It's salty, nicely seasoned. This was like $12, $15 alone. Is it worth that price? It's good, but I don't know about that. All right, last, we got the baked beans right here. Now, they do look like, you know, the Heinz beans, the ones from the can, but <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, can't expect any more. It literally tastes just like regular baked beans. No extra love thrown in there. No like, little bacon bits, nothing. It's pretty good, though. All right, guys, so overall, I think the food is actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It has some good flavors, good taste. Cabbage was a little plain, in my opinion, but... 
Other than that, mac and cheese was absolutely fucking delicious. Candy the yams, delicious. Yes. Pork chop, amazing. Fried chicken was kind of mid. Yeah, customer service isn't all there. We waited a whole hour and like that kind of threw me off a little bit. But overall, definitely come check them out and uh, hopefully you wear the right outfit or else you can't get in there. <laughs>